Good morning. At 3.23 a.m. here on Wednesday, May 11, 2022. Whatever time or date it is where you're at, I hope you're having a really good week. So let's get right into this. What I wanted to do was show you how simple, to revisit how simple it is to combine reporting with your Delphi application, particularly database applications, but you can use them for several other things, many other things actually. Let's take a look at what we've got. We've got our basic form here. Let's change the name of this to caption to, uh, we'll just call it database. Well, Okay, so we have the main form. We have the ADO connection, and here's the connection string to our database. And you like to make sure that while you're in design mode, if you have to connect, go ahead, but before you run the application, disconnect because prefer explicit opens and closes on form open and form close. If you have this connected and then you go to runtime to run it, it will often throw an error that is already connected to an exclusively open database. So you don't want that. So anyway, and then we have our table, which takes ADO connection one is this connection string. And we're using table clients. As you see, there's just the one table in the database so far. And then we have our database data source, which connects to the data set ADO table one. So you can bind all your data controls through that data source one. Then we have a few demographic edits up here and we've added a main menu you see what's going on here to be able to add reporting and this is static reporting and and what I mean by static is that you create the report as the developer. The end user has no no function in that. that. You're just delivering a static report based on maybe their requirements or your anticipation of their requirements. So that's simply done by adding a report, FRX report one and FRX DB data set one. And then to design a report, double click on report one. And here it comes up. See if I can straighten this out a little bit more. That's all right. And if you preview it, there you have it. All the records are in there. That's number six out of a hundred. And you see we've populated the data tree. And the way that's done is as, as soon as you, I'll show you, as soon as you open the report one, you must go to report data and then make sure this is selected. It is not by default, so you have to physically select it, the data set. And then click OK. And then also in the data set, usually it's not populated. So we want to select FRX DB data set one. And when you preview it after putting your fields on the report, this is what you get. Now, under normal circumstances, um, without including the report designer, which isn't available until Fast Reports Professional Edition and higher. This is what they get. It's it's a 
you could call it a hard-coded report. So there's that. We'll close that. This is simply all there is to it. There's, it's not a whole lot of work to get done. Get, and you can deliver in, in quickly on time and on budget. So uh, this data source one is important to the whole application. Of course, they're all important to the whole application, but this is particularly important to make sure that you're talking to the data in the right table, the right data set. Now, when you disconnect the connection, the ADO connection, it disconnects the table and everything else, closes all that stuff. Oh yeah, you see the style is called uh, Sky. And you get a lot of free, uh, just a huge amount of free styles in Delphi. And then you can get more through the Get It Package Manager. Just give you an idea. We'll open it. We'll just set this to styles. See, there's 41 additional styles that you can get. And let's just try one. And uh, Cooper. Install. <clears throat> You've got to accept all or it won't install. Yes. It's completed completely. Close that. Now let's go to project options. And we're looking for appearance, which were selected. And we selected Cooper. You can have multiple styles in the same application, so we need to set the default style to that. And let's run it and see what we got. One, oh, I have it open already. Okay, here we go. And that's the style of Cooper as compared to Sky. Um, I can't stand the Windows default. And this is interesting too, when you go to report, uh, the report window takes on the style of the application style. So that's pretty cool. You wouldn't know that this is, uh, that the reporting um, functions are all, ha are all accomplished by a whole different package than Delphi that's actually installed into Delphi. So, you want to set this back, go to project options, appearance, and I'll show you one more. There's one I like here too. Um, silver, and we'll set this to silver. Where is silver? Did I select it? No, I didn't. Silver. Here it is. Save. Run. And that's what silver like. It. I. I like this. It's clean. It's. It's real clean. And again, you see, the report takes on the same style as the application style. So that's all there is to it. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and ask those. Uh, hit the like and subscribe button and the notification bell, if you will. And leave your comments. It, you guys are kind of shy. I, don't, I really don't get that many comments. I get a lot of likes, but not that many comments. But I'd love to hear from you. But anyway, wherever you're at, whatever time of day or night it is, you have a great week. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. I'm going to do considerably amount more with the Fast Reports VCL package. You guys like that a lot. I probably have 3,000 views uh, just from the Fast Report in Delphi tutorials so but thanks for spending this time with me again i'm robert davis i hope you have a really good week and we'll see you in the next tutorial so
Godspeed.